Exams are approaching. Student X and Y both made different timetables for 8 hours of study output daily. Student X is able to follow his timetable completely with extreme efficiency, while on the other hand, student Y is struggling to follow even one slot properly. What is so special about timetable of student X and why Y is failing? Well, if you are watching this video, either your exams are approaching or you just have realized the importance of that one good timetable. We generally end our day with the dissatisfaction of not being able to deliver our best. Well, if this continues anymore, you'll lose a chance to get a good rank. And I tell you, this won't happen if you understand the real art of crafting a productive timetable. In this video, I'm going to tell you four rules which will transform your timetable to a super productive timetable so that you can finish your all daily tasks in the shortest amount of time even if you don't have any motivation. But first things first, let's get to know how to even make a timetable. For those who are new to this channel, I am Arvind Kaliya sir. Bache pyar se bhai bulate hain as that's the way I feel for you all. Chalo, let's start. As per psychology, your mind is for generating the ideas and not retaining those ideas. So whenever you get a notification in your head, jot it down somewhere. Idea is to externalize your tasks in the list as much as possible. So the process starts with a simple handy notebook or an app in your mobile. Keep your mind free from remembering all the ad hoc tasks. Now you are ready to make a timetable. Well, now you have the complete list of all the tasks that you have to complete. Step one is to divide these tasks into two categories. Categories. A task whose slot can be moved, a task that requires fixed time slot. Well, category B is easy to manage as there you don't have any option like your coaching classes. It's the category A which you have to manage. Divide category A further into three subcategories. Urgent, that is it has to be finished today. Not urgent, that is even if it is postponed to tomorrow, it's not a big issue. Prerequisite required, that is you need to do something before you start that task. Once you are done with all this, there comes the most important step. Remember when you promised your friend that you are just 5 minutes away but you took 30 minutes? This is because as humans we have tendency to underestimate the time needed for the daily activities. Which brings me to the next step. Do you realize your one hour differs on daily basis? Let me explain. One day you finish some task in one hour while on some other day you might be taking more than two hours for the same task as you were less focused second day. So allocating a realistic time estimation to a task become very critical. You will learn this art after improvising your timetable on daily basis for few days. After that only, you will hit that sweet spot. Now that you have all the things handy, it's the time to fill your calendar. Now this is an art. Rule 1. One task that is a part of your daily task list, link it with some of your daily habit. For example, you are going to do 35 questions of integration in 2 hours from the module before your dinner. You will give particular color to this slot and just change the topic on daily basis. This way you have attached this daily work with one of your daily habit and that particular color gives you alert signal every time you look at the calendar. Well this method is called habit stacking. Rule 2. If you feel highly resistant towards some task, always keep a green colored slot of about 20 to 30 minutes after this task in which you reward yourself with something that you like the most. Most of the people think motivation leads to action. Well, it is partially true, but as per the book, The Motivation Myth by Jeff Hayden, waiting for motivation leads to inaction. Mostly successful people mention that it's the action that leads to motivation. Like you first take the action which gives you some outcome or results which releases dopamine in your body which finally becomes the reason behind the motivation to do that work again. Remember we kept one green colored slot after that task? That slot is like rewarding yourself for doing something which was very difficult for you to do. So it becomes a loop. You take an action as you see a reward after that. After that action is done, you get motivated 
as you realize some gain from that work so you are ready to complete this loop tomorrow also this is sort of motivation loop rule 3 on rather a relaxed day never think that today there is no need of allocating a special slot for that only one or two tasks that you have to do on that day as per parkinson's law work expands as per the time availability so keep a dedicated slot for that one task that you have to do and rest of slots don't keep it free just fill it with whatever recreational activities you have to do or you want to do on that day idea is your calendar should not look empty as if it is empty you will not be able to do that even single task which was expected from you on that day and you will waste the whole day with that pending task load in your head rule 4 in the start of every week tell yourself the story that you're going to live in that complete week and remember you should come out to be the protagonist of that story by the end of week well there you have it the best approach of crafting a super productive timetable well if at any moment you feel reluctant to start your work you may watch my video how to trick your brain to study to get rid of that initial inertia now take control of your time and make each day a success story god bless you take care